He is a man charged with beating and stabbing to death his grandparents, and now he will spend the rest of his life in prison. As Nine in Your Sides, Craig Smith reports, Kyle Dratlow's family told the judge he killed the two people who loved him the most. Kyle Dratlow would not look at his family when they spoke of the two lives they loved and he stole away. Glenda Kim said her parents loved Kyle Dratlow and showed it right up to the moment he killed them. Kyle once told me that mother was his best friend. He could talk to her about anything. When there was no money for food, mother always made biscuits and gravy. On the kitchen cupboard was a bowl of flour with mother's handprint. On the day of her death, she was trying to get the car out of the shop to go pick up Kyle. I'm sure she was starting to make biscuits to make sure he had food. 83-year-old Mary Fulgham had 16 stab wounds. 87-year-old Erskine Fulgham had 33 stab wounds and 14 broken ribs. The only sentence the law allows for Dratlow is life in prison with no chance of release. Until he pleaded guilty, Dratlow had been holding out for a trial. Court records suggest he was planning an insanity defense. Two accomplices pleaded guilty two years ago. Christopher Terry pleaded guilty to murder and other charges. He is serving life without parole. Brianna Harding pleaded guilty to murder conspiracy. She is serving life with a chance of parole after 25 years. Dradlow's sentence means he will die in prison. While one of Mary and Erskine Fulgham's children said she felt Dratlow had become a disciple for the devil. Another said the couple loved Dratlow so much she thinks Mary Fulgham will be hoping to see Kyle Dratlow cross into heaven. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.